Hey everybody, it's Crafty Kitty, and I have my very first Alley Express haul to share with you. It's not that big, but I did order a few things. Yes, I know I shouldn't be ordering anything, but I figured I'm probably only going to do this once. I don't know. I haven't. I found some really good deals on AliExpress, and uh, I wasn't quite sure how it worked or anything, so. I don't have anything like cut out to show you or anything like that so I'm just gonna show you what I got and you know maybe I'll do images later all right this is my book I got from the Dollarama uh, I'm gonna start using it to be a guide for me um, let's see if I can get this to open up so you can see what it is I got here. It's a good thing it's a ring binder. So I got this uh, little die and it is a tag die but it has it creates a pop-up. So that's what it looks like. And this I can't wait to play with because I mean I had a friend of mine who once asked but you can can you do books that have pop-ups and stuff and I said well this one's pretty cool so you can put some little hidden surprises behind the flap which um, I'm, I'm looking forward to use in a book I'm going to be doing soon. I'm just going to try and make this stand up a bit. There we go. Um, whoop. Yeah. Is that going to work? My table's kind of got a weird angle to it. So let's see if I do. Well, I guess we'll just try this way then. I'll see if it stays up like this. That's not very helpful, but anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll forget about that altogether, and I'll just show you if I can find a piece of paper so I can show you. I moved everything in here, so now it's like, can I find a piece of paper? I don't know. So, we'll see. I'll just hold it up against this once I do it. So I got uh, a few stamp sets, which were in the steampunk, because I like steampunk. Um, let's see. This one kind of reminded me of Tim Holtz, uh, as it slides across the table. Kind of reminds me of Tim Holtz. I don't really know. I think the AliExpress stores kind of copy different things, so... Anyways, that looks kind of creepy also, but it's steampunk. And I really can't wait to play with this, because I do have a bunch of paper that is steampunk from, like, Graphic 45. And, well, that's not bad. You can probably see it better that way than it <laughs> with the book behind it. So I got that one, and it's a pretty big stamp, this one. Like, I mean, if you look behind my hand there, it's, you know, this one in the middle is pretty darn big. It's almost the size of my hand. So then I got this, uh, this one is a seahorse, but it's a steampunk seahorse. And I am looking to get some paper. Yes, I know I don't need any paper, but Graphic 45 paper is one of my guilty pleasures, I should say. Because they make the most awesome paper. I just am having a hard time finding any. And I am so, I am so sad because my friend Stacy hauled um, the... Mad Midnight Tales by Gra Graphic 45 and that Halloween paper is to die for and I am having a hard time trying to find it anywhere in Canada. So I have to see if I can find something in the States. Maybe I can get my sister to pick it up for me. I don't know but I just know people it's hard to find up here. People don't like a lot of people don't sell it because it's, it's pretty expensive. Now look at this woman. She kind of reminds me of the actual stamp set that Graphic 45 had out at one point for the woman there. 
and is she not pretty like i mean i just love 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 this cannot wait definitely gonna try and do some heat embossing with this um to get you know like look at her it is just beautiful just perfect and i mean these three stamp sets i think were all three dollars and 45 cents each basically i believe that's what it this thing is only i think a 223 they're weird prices <laughs> they don't come up i guess it just depends and stuff and whatever but yeah i got that and the like so these ones all came from the same store and it was pretty good and i made sure to get free shipping on those because uh i thought that was pretty good uh, let's see. then i got these bugs and again these kind of remind me of a tim holtz too uh i think these ones were i think these ones are 340 something as well 348 anyways it's all these nice little bugs look at them and like the moths and the beetles and stink bugs i mean these are just awesome and they're all fairly a good size too i really and i i looked at the images that um were in the stores when from the reviews and people were really happy with these sets that i bought they said the images came out very clear uh and they sent pictures of the stamped images as well so and they look pretty darn good so i'm hopeful that these are all going to be really great to work with and then i got this steampunk one this one was about i think it was i have to think now i think it was like two 60 or something like that for this steampunk one but i like her i've seen her somewhere before and i can't remember like where Oops, let's put it back this way it comes in a bit clearer i don't remember where i saw this but and there's a hat with a steampunk it's a hot air balloon a dirigible and flowers with um gears and stuff inside there love that hat but love that image so another steampunk one um again free shipping and this is the last one that i got and this one i really really liked because it's a deadhead moth <laughs> that's what i call them anyways because you look at the little skull that's in the middle it's pretty cool so i get that glare off of there so you can see them. and it's a fairly big stamp it's about the size of my my thumb so and uh, again i've seen somebody who posted on the reviews they posted a picture of the stamped image it came out very nicely and i think these kind of ones that have more of an intricate pattern on them i think they would do really well with uh heat emboss and then you can color in them if you want using a marker and whatever else because I just think this is so cool and I mean I'm really happy with the with the items I got bought there is uh items that haven't come in yet um not stamp related or craft related they were actually um chair covers that I bought um you know the spandexy kind I got a nice dark hunter green color and the best part was they were only um came out to $21 for a set of eight so it was like I'll try it for 21 bucks I mean I've seen a lot of the chair covers where they were like you know five dollars a piece or like 57 for a set of four and I'm like yeah but this one popped up inside there so I was really happy and I don't have them to show you they're on their way still according to the um, delivery notice also um i haven't i will be having another review video coming up so once i stamp these i'll let you know i'll show you guys the images and anything i create i really am um, looking forward to using the steampunk because i want to create a steampunk mini album with a few um embellishments and stuff and yes i'm still cleaning up my room still going through finding a bunch of stuff um i think i'll be doing posting a, a giveaway video uh shortly to 
purge some of my stuff and perhaps gift to somebody else who would really like it and put it to good use. So again, thank you all for watching. I can't wait to go play with all this stuff. And I hope everybody else um, is safe and happy. So thanks for watching and let's all get crafty. Bye.